Parfalonia amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci setto a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci setto a tuo cibo d'amor. Our next collaboration topic is Italia, Italian food, Italian cooking. What a wonderful um, a topic to for for uh, uh, hobby cooks or professionals, uh, because Italian uh, uh, kitchen is is in my opinion uh, wonderful and mostly. Um, rather easy than complicated, but always delicious. So, uh, my recipe and, 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 and dish I will uh, share with you uh, is, is not really a famous Italian dish. Uh, I, I'm, I have no awareness of that. It's a more um, uh, or less a combination uh, I found out uh, accidentally. Um, when I was uh, in Istria in, in uh, vacation, um, uh, there um, uh, I had uh, the opportunity uh, to get a wild sage or sage. Uh, I, I don't know how this herb um, uh, um, is, is really pronounced in, in English. So, what's Italian in this dish? Four pieces. In my opinion, it's uh, first of all I do uh, the pasta myself, uh, and to say it straight away, of course you can cook this dish with uh, um, a pasta you buy in the supermarket. By uh, but I recommend uh, to do it. Uh, give give it a try to make the pasta yourself. I show from scratch from the scratch on how uh, to create uh, this pasta yourself. So you could easily take this video to be educated and and uh, um, how to learn, uh, how to make a pasta on your own. So the second. Thing Thing is uh, pancetta. The third thing is sage or sage. Uh, I mean, uh, I was uh, in Italia, and I can say in, in private gardens there is no garden without uh, all possible herbs you can think of. Not only rosemary, basil, and so on, but uh, uh, um, uh, of course also uh, sage or sage. Um, and um, the fourth uh, thing, uh, which is uh, definitely Italian, is uh, Parmigiano, Parmesan, as we call it in, in, in Germany. So those four uh, ingredients, which are definitely um, uh, Italian, uh, I would say they are coming together in this um, in this dish, uh, and it is wonderful. It's super easy. Uh, quick to make uh, when you don't think of doing your your pasta yourself uh, that takes a little bit of time but the cooking itself 15 minutes and then uh, the dish is ready um, so and my last um, uh, uh, notice I want to give uh, to the audience uh, this is a collaboration video again uh, like in the other months as well uh, and please please uh, uh, be so kind and go into the video description uh, there you will find all the other channels with their wonderful uh, dishes and videos and recipes they are sharing uh, with you today um, um, uh, regarding our topic Italian food and support them as you might uh, support me with a like, with a comment and uh, with a subscription to uh, our channel. So thank you very much, um, um, uh, have fun uh, watching this video and happy cooking. Okay, let's start. Uh, this is a durum uh, wheat flour. Um, that's what I'm always using um, uh, making pasta. So it's around about 250 grams. I'm cooking for two people. Uh, so uh, that's um, orientation of, of uh, the amount of the ingredients. That was a, a little bit of um, uh, olive oil, one egg, and the rest uh, I will put uh, uh, water in it, cold water, to come up to 45% uh, uh, of the flour uh, amount. That's my recipe. 
um, I put uh, flour and 45% of the flour amount I put uh, the humidity coming from water, egg and a little bit of oil. So what you see now it's very um, very much uh, uh, um, uh, in, in, in fast motion. Uh, this is up to 10 minutes. You really have to, to knead uh, uh, the dough uh, very, very good that everything is uh, uh, smoothly combined uh, and then you put it in the fridge um, for half an hour at least uh, that uh, everything can uh, get together and, and uh, um, come together. Yeah. So this is a lot of sage. Uh, I would say it's uh, two handful. Um, then uh, this is the, the star of, of the dish, if you like. Um, um, there's a lot of the flavor coming. Then I prepare two uh, white onion. We will slice it um, not too small. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I'm using uh, three uh, uh, garlic pieces. Uh, you can use more or less, uh, it's up to you. So here you can see that I, uh, I'm not slicing too, too little because it, it should all fit together. You will see also the pancetta in a few moments. Uh, it's, it's all... Um, aligned uh, how how you should uh, cut it um, that it fits nicely together so this is a very nice piece of pancetta italian uh, pancetta uh, i cut off the the the, the edges um, and then um, as you can see uh, i make uh, also uh, such uh, slices uh, fitting um, and, and matching uh, the way I, I, I have cut um, the onion for example then i prepare a um, good amount of butter it's um, maybe 100 gram for um, I, I would say um, and then you have to prepare a lot of parmigiano uh, make it very thin and very uh, tiny because uh, a lot of uh, this uh, parmigiano goes into the sauce and it has to to melt straight away in uh, in, in in the pan you will see this later so this is uh, the dough after after um, half an hour and um, then I prepare uh, four sheets um, and you will see in a few moments uh, how I, I, I make the, the big sheets, um, very thin, I would say less than one millimeter. And uh, that's the way I, I make then my pasta. So I just uh, uh, put some flour on, on the sheet that nothing is uh, sticking. Um, then as you can see I do it that way and, and um, in this dish uh, I prepared a kind of pappardelle or large tagliatelle you can make uh, spaghetti style or, or whatever you want uh, it's, it's just up to you because uh, with the sheets um, and the way I, I'm doing this you can do it uh, like you want so this is the machine I'm using uh, and, and I just make sheets and the rest I do manually with, with the knife as you have uh, seen. So then you have to uh, uh, take a very large pan because everything comes together in this pan uh, at the end. In the end, so olive oil, then uh, the whole sage, uh, a little bit uh, of rosemary, uh, and this pepperoni. You cut it uh, in the middle. Um, that uh, uh, the, the the oil and later on the butter and so on can go inside the pepperoni and takes a little bit of the spiciness because the rosemary and the pepperoni. I will take them off um, before it uh, uh, comes to the end. Uh, but in the meantime, it should give uh, all the flavor into it. So, uh, after a few moments or minutes, um, and make sure you have a, a medium heat, uh, because the sage shouldn't burn or, or get crispy. Um, um, you make then uh, um, this uh, uh, butter and, and onion and, and garlic into it. Um, and what you have seen um, a few minutes ago, a few moments ago, it was just salt, nothing else. Um, 
uh, the the pepper will uh, come uh, to the dish uh, on the table, but not uh, in this stage. Only salt, and it's now already full of flavor. You can smell it in the whole kitchen. So this was a little bit uh, dry uh, uh, white wine. Um, and as you uh, have seen also the pepperoni and the rosemary, uh, I, I took them off. Uh, and now the pasta on the right side um, goes into, into the noodle water and because it's fresh pasta after two minutes it's ready. So uh, then um, you, you put it uh, in, in, into the pan. And as you have seen, uh, I put also a little bit of the noodle water, of the pasta water in, into the pan to even enrich the sauce. And now uh, a little bit of the parmigiano and then you mix it up and, and the parmigiano um, uh, straight away melts in the sauce and, and uh, ah, wonderful. And look at this. The, the dish is ready. We are, we are, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, ready to eat. Look at this uh, easy to make, quick to make and wonderful dish. And now there was pepper on it. A little bit of parmigiano again and wonderful, a beautiful Italian dish. Please cook it yourself and enjoy. So now you have seen the result uh, and I think you, um, uh, you, you, um, you can agree to my opinion that this was a wonderful dish. It's, it's easy to make, it looks great and, and the taste is, is just uh, uh, delicious. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget to go into the video description and uh, have a look at all the other um, great uh, uh, cooking colleagues uh, within this collaboration and support them as well as you might support me. So uh, thank you very much for watching, for supporting me and my colleagues and happy cooking.